Like the German Luftwaffe, the US Navy also developed precision-guided munitions during World War II. The development program started in June of 1942 with the Pelican, which used semi-active radar homing. By the middle of 1943, a modification of the design was proposed to use a new active radar homing system with a 2,000 pound general purpose bomb. This version entered testing in the summer of 1944. It hit its target ships in two out of four drops. The BAT was basically the production version which combined the original airframe with a smaller 1,000 pound general purpose bomb and the active radar system. The anti-ship variant of the BAT eventually saw combat service in April of 1945 in Borneo, dropped by a consolidated BP-4Y privateers, one bomb mounted under each wing at altitudes of 15,000 to 25,000 feet at air speed of 260 km per hour. The privateer was the primary launch platform for the BAT, but fighter aircraft was also modified to launch the weapon, including the Vought Corsair, Curtis Helldiver and Grumman Avenger. Several Japanese ships were sunk and the coastal defense ship Aguni was damaged from a range of 37 kilometers in May of 1945. After the war, it was frequently miscredited as being sunk by a US destroyer. Several bats were dropped on Japanese-held bridges in Burma as well. The bats pioneering radar guidance system was easily confused by radar land clutter, particularly against targets close to shore. About a total of 2,600 bat bombs were deployed. The bat remained in service until late 1943 and the primary post-World War II aircraft to carry the weapon was the Lockheed P-2 Neptune.